Welcome to Stackby. Stackby is a flexible spreadsheet database collaboration platform. Today we are going to see how you can create a custom CRM using Stackby. So here's your stack. A stack is basically a database. Within a database, there are different tables. So in this case, we have four tables, leads, companies, deals, and tasks. So these four tables comprise of, you know, the custom CRM database that we want to build. So let's start with the leads table first. So within the leads table, you know, we need to capture all the information of the lead, their titles, emails, phone numbers, as well as give them a scoring, you know, whether those leads are hot or cold. We can also bring leads by embedding a form to our website. So you can create a form and you fill the information. You can embed this form into your website. And as soon as somebody submits it, a new row is created within Stackberry. Now we want to link leads to the list of the companies that we have. So in this case, I'll add a new company. I call it Stackby. Industry is technology and this is the employee size. And what I can do is then I can link my leads to the companies. So there is a column type called link that allows you to link between two tables and create relations. So here, if I click on the plus sign, all the records from the from the company's table will show up and you can click and link and automatically within the company's table within stack by a contact has been linked now the same way we have to manage the deals now deals is basically you know will comprise of different information what is the deal name which company it is linked to who are the main contacts for that company what is the deal stage who's the deal lead what is the closing date any proposals and how many users and price per user you're looking for so here there are different types of column types you know there is a single option drop down where you can change the status of the deal you can assign a deal lead and change the status of it and they would get a real-time notification you can change the the closing dates add more attachments and link it to Google Drive or Gmail or even bring it directly from your computer and add all the other relevant information. You can also see your deals in different views. So you can create a deal pipeline where you will see all the records will come in a Kanban style view where you can drag and drop between different stages and manage your sales pipeline or a deal pipeline that way. You can also create a new view called a calendar where you can see things, you know, in terms of the closing date. And you can color code them based on which deal stage they're part of. So you can move around those deals and manage it accordingly. So this is how you'll be able to create custom views within Stackby for your, all your deal pipeline for all the deals that you have. Now, you can also individually open each of those records into like detailed views where you can still change the same information as you would change at the table level. But at the same time, you can chat with your team members and collaborate. You can see the history of the record when was it added, who added it, and what was changed. You can also create a custom checklist within that deal. Say, do this or do that, and manage your checklist for individual deals. Or even set a reminder that can go into your Slack channel or even send you email notifications. So this is how you'll be able to manage all your deals in a single place. Now, if you want to filter only 
the records you know that are on a particular deal stage what you can do is you can individually duplicate a layout and here i've already duplicated a layout and i've filtered it accordingly so where deal stage is one and i can change it and those records get filtered i can even add multiple filters say for example in this case i want to add where users is greater than 20 and it will only filter those records and you can manage it as separate views within stackby if you want to search something you can also individually search any information or if you just want to share this particular view with the filtered with any of your any of your team members you can only share this individual view and give them a permission type so they will be they'll only be able to see this particular view they won't be able to see the master view that you've created in that particular table so this is how you can create your custom crm within stackby and use it according to your needs based on whatever industry or business you are in so sky is the limit of the things that you can do with stackby thanks